I've sold over $750,000 worth of items on my shirt store and Etsy since I got started three years ago. And the biggest mistake I see new sellers making that holds them back in the beginning is overthinking their designs. So in this video, I want to share some awesome font duos with you to help you get more designs in your store quickly and easily so you can start making money faster. In my video last week, how to make 100 designs in less than an hour, I shared a process where you can use Canva's bulk create feature to create one design and then have it actually scale that design out and create over 50 to 100 designs for you in just a matter of seconds. And so please go watch that video next. I'll link it at the end and down below as well. But in that video, I shared a really nice font duo from my favorite website, Creative Fabrica to get my fonts from. But I got some pushback from different people in the comments asking me, do these simple text-based designs actually sell well on Etsy? And while I've had a ton of success with text-based designs selling well on Etsy, I don't want you to just take my word for it. Every decision that you make for your business, you should make based on the data, not just what someone is telling you. So I'm gonna show you a few designs that are currently best sellers on Etsy right now that are text only, and you can decide for yourself. And then I'll show you some of those great font duos. And make sure to stay until the end because I do have a few bonus tips for you on how to make sure that your designs actually sell after you list them. So here's a few of the best sellers. There's different ways you can add value to designs, like putting the text to the left, making each line a different color, giving it a more distressed font like this one has, making it into matching shirts, and again, giving the every other line a different color or giving it a wave like this. But all of these are simple text-based designs that again are all current best sellers right now. This one just says mama and it's just a collegiate font. Here's another one, super simple, bestseller. This one has a little bit more to it, but again, it's just text and some little diamonds. It doesn't have to be super complicated. This one, just the same word over and over again, couple different colors, bestseller. Another bestseller. This one's just a cool font with every other letter being a different color, but again, super simple. This one, you couldn't get more simple, and it is a bestseller right now on Etsy. This one's just two different fonts, and this is really similar to the ones I'll be showing you from Creative Fabrica, where you do a cursive type font and then a more blocky type font, and that works really well for a lot of different types of designs. Here's another text to the left design. And then lastly, just a really simple pocket size design. And one more bonus design for you. This one is again a super cute font duo between a cursive font and then a blockier font underneath with adding the you know extra every other letter being a different color. This is a super great example of a simple text-based design that sells really well on this platform. So here's the font that I actually shared in last week's video. It's called Pink Vibes. It has this really cute cursive font with a nice blocky font. You can do this where the cursive font is over top of the blockier font. You can do it underneath, and they give you lots of fun examples of ways that you can use it. And they do come with these nice glyphs, which I do show you in last week's video how to use. And all of these fonts are going to be on creativefabrica.com. This is a great website to get extra fonts and graphics from if you don't find what you're looking for on your design software of choice. I tend to use Canva, but you don't have to use Canva, but I will show you at the end of this, all these fonts, how to upload these to Canva if you don't know how to do that. But the nice thing about Creative Fabrica is I have a link down in the description for 10 free downloads. You can download any of these fonts and try them out. And then if you like it, it's only $9 per month for unlimited downloads of the thousands and thousands of fonts and graphics that they have on their site. Or you can even pay for the year and then it's really only $5 a month. So super reasonable for everything that they offer. So the next one I have for you is this cute one, Mismatched Socks. Now keep in mind that this sock one here, how it goes in and behind the letters. That's something that is a little bit more advanced. You'd have to do some erasing and um, you know, moving the layers around to get that exact same effect, but you could if you wanted to. But even without that, you could just have the socks word over top of it and that'd be a really nice look. And again, you could pay $15 for this or you can get the unlimited license and have full commercial rights to use it in your business. 
Then this one here definitely goes with the more groovy fonts that are super popular in Etsy right now. It's uh, Good Vibes Only Duo font. This is another one where you can put the cursive one over top of the other ones, but it has a little bit more of that groovy kind of vibe to it. So you can use it by itself or you can use them together and they just look great. Then we have Romantic Spring. So this one is a really nice font combination where you can put the two fonts together. You can do a similar thing where you kind of weave them in between by erasing parts of the font if you wanted to or layering things on top of each other to get that effect. Then I really like this one, Tomato Kitchen. I don't know if it's just the name or the look, but I think this one's got a really unique fun style to it that you can use these two fonts within a design, add the little swirls to it, and you can have a really cool look in just a few minutes. Two more, I've got Marshmallow Duo font for you. And this one's just really cute, really whimsical. I think this would be a great one that you could use within your designs as well. It's just got kind of a really fun, pretty look to it, so I wanted to share this one with you as well. And then lastly, we have the Alyssa font. So this one is another really nice one. The eyes come with little hearts, so that's a great way to get almost a little bit of a graphic extra look to it without having to do a ton of extra work. But I really like the actual blocky font where the eyes are not capitalized and everything's a little bit taller. I think this for a text-only design would be a really great one to use on your shirts. But if you don't like any of the ones that I used, you can just come to the search bar and you can type in duo fonts and you'll find lots of other ones to choose from. But again, what I'm trying to save you time with in this video is not spending an hour looking through all of these fonts and trying to find one to do. So that's why I wanted to share some specific fonts with you. That way you can just take those and run with it and start getting designs up in your store today. So let's quickly show you how to download these fonts and upload them to a software like Canva. So let's say you wanted to use the Tomato Kitchen font, you'll go ahead and download it with your new subscription. Then we need to go over to Canva. So open up a project that you already have. This is the one that I used in last week's example. And so I will click on one of the fonts here and come to this font box that has the name of the font. Come down here to the bottom where it says upload a font. Then you'll open up the font that you want to download. So you're going to see an OTF file and a TTF file. I want you to select the OTF file for both of the font types, so the blockier font and the cursive or whatever the two combinations are. Select upload. It'll ask you if you have the commercial rights to use these, and you do from Creative Fabrica, so say yes, upload anyways. And then now these will be within the font library of Canva for you to use in any of your future designs. If you don't see it right away, you can go ahead and type it in. So now you can see the Tomato Kitchen for both of these, and I'll change this one to this, and you can see here. Now you've got the font combination just like we saw on the website. But you can't just throw words on a shirt and hope that it sells. I want you to keep two really important principles in mind when you're building your Etsy and print-on-demand store. Number one, you want to make sure that there's demand for that niche. You can make sure that there's current demand by looking up that niche on Etsy and seeing if there's current best sellers or items with 20 plus in the cart. That means that there's already customers organically coming to Etsy, typing in those keywords and looking to buy something. This is gonna give you a way better chance of getting sales because you're not having to bring the customers to you. You're just bringing something new to the customers and trying to compete with the other people already out there. But that brings us to step number two. You need to add value. You can't just make a design that says the exact same thing as someone else and looks just a tiny bit different because why would they buy your design over something that's already a proven bestseller? I'll share with you two of my favorite ways to add value to a niche when I'm looking to break into a new niche on Etsy. And I share these two tips along with so, so many more in my new course, the POD Roadmap. I'll put the link for my course down in the description if you want an exact roadmap of how to build your print-on-demand business without having to watch a thousand YouTube videos and piece it all together for yourself. 
I give you a step-by-step -step process to follow and a ton of resources along the way to make sure that you don't make any of the same mistakes that I did when I first got started, especially if you don't have a ton of time, if you're working a full-time job, if you have a family, this is going to be so much easier for you than having to take all the time in the world to figure it out, make the mistakes and learn from it. Instead, feel free to learn from mine. You'll also get support for all of your exact individual questions in our private community where I answer all of my students' questions all day long. And if you join now, I'm doing weekly live coaching calls every Tuesday from now until the middle of July. So if you join now, you'll also get that benefit included for free. But back to the video. My number one way to add value to a niche when I'm looking to make a new design on Etsy is to try and turn it into matching shirts. So if you're looking at the search results for a popular niche and most people are selling just one shirt, this can be a great time to turn it into matching shirts. See if you can come up with another funny saying or a related saying and make it best friend matching shirts into couples matching shirts or even family matching shirts. And the added benefit is hopefully your customers will, will be buying multiple items from you instead of just one. So this will help you grow your business so much faster. My second favorite way to add value when I'm breaking into a new niche on Etsy is to use a completely different saying for the same niche that everyone else is selling. You can try and say something similar to what other people's shirts say, but make it funnier, make it different. Or if you're not feeling creative, one way that I like to do this is go to Google and look up memes for that subject. And this is where you can get a lot of inspiration from funny jokes, funny memes, but always make sure to check your trademarks before you post anything like that on a shirt. So if you've been overthinking your designs, I hope that this video was super helpful for you in finding some new fonts to use in your business and some tips for adding value instead of just trying to do the exact same thing everyone else is doing, but hoping for a different result. I know it's a lot to learn all of this in the beginning, but I hope that all of my free videos here on YouTube can help make it feel just that much more possible. I know it can be really discouraging doing this all on your own, so if you don't join something like my course and my community, make sure you're joining some type of Facebook group so you don't feel alone and you have other people to talk to about the experiences you're going through. I know when I first started my business, I didn't know anyone that was a business owner that was doing anything online, so it can feel really alienating when everyone around you doesn't understand what you're doing. So try and find some type of community to feel more supported and trust me this will help it go so much better for you and you can learn from each other. And if no one's told you today, then I am proud of you. Again, I know this is so much work. It's really hard and it can feel really discouraging, but you should be really proud of the work that you've done so far. It is amazing. Tons of people are way too scared to even try something like this. So you are brave, you are courageous, and you can do this. And if you liked this video, please take a moment to comment down below what your biggest takeaway was or what your favorite font is. I'd love to hear from you and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. But again, I'll go ahead and link last week's video right here at the end if you missed it because I think there's a ton of value in learning how to make scalable designs. So make sure to watch that one next. And as always, thanks for staying all the way until the end and I'll see you in the next one.